Merhaba Ceyti Skok'un Hamza tekrar Hoş geldiniz Bugün başka tarih zaman History time Tarih zaman Ve bugün Ottoman Empire Osmanlı İmparator İmparator İskede bu olsa Yeah. <gülüyor> Osmanlı İmparator Lüm, I guess. Yep. Evet. O yüzden arkadaşlar lütfen abone ol, videoyu paylaş, Instagram'da takip edebilirsiniz um, um, ve yorum yazabilirsiniz ve videoya geçelim. And with the help of his successors, they built the mightiest Middle Eastern Empire of their time. The term Ottoman originates from Uthman, which is Arabic for Osman, named after the ruler who had the dream of the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire. Let's go, let's go. The history of the Ottoman Empire begins with Osman I in 1299 AD. A leader of the Turkish tribes in Anatolia <coughs> who established a formal government and gave foundation to the Ottoman Turks. He and his son Oran started conquering and expanded the territory to the northwest and captured Bursa in 1326. Wait, they captured, they captured. I don't understand. Who were there before before the exactly, exactly. exactly. That's what, <coughs> like, so like they bullied some people off the land. Off the land. Wow. Like who oh. were there? I didn't know the t- Turks. Wait, the Ottoman Empire, like, were they, they, were, they were the ones in Istanbul, right? Huh? The Ottoman Empire, like, where exactly was, like, the, uh, where the... They are dominant. It's, it's an empire, it's not like they are somewhere. They have different people from, right now, like, people from different countries there. The Ottoman, I think... No, I'm talking like, like, then, like, then, like, but when the Sultan then, was... there was no, a place like, like Istanbul, I think it was Constantinople. Yeah, yeah, yeah, that's, um, that's what I'm asking, yeah. like, is that where they were... guessing, I don't know. You guys should please tell us in the comments section. The capital, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the Byzantine Empire lost control. So it became the new capital of the Ottoman state. And the Byzantine Empire... Wait, wait, that was a question. Bursa became the new capital of the Ottoman state. Bursa, Bursa was the capital. It became the new capital. The new capital. Of the Osman state. They collected... Osman. When they chased... When they captured those They collected it from the Byzantine state. And the Byzantine Empire lost control over uh. northwestern Anatolia. Mm. The Ottoman Turks continued their expansion objectives by conquering the important city of Thessaloniki from the Venetians. Thessaloniki. In the that, was, that was where. Other Thessaloniki is in. Is it not Greece? Greece. Greece. Yeah, that was where. That was Greece, I think. But then it was. It wasn't like it was in Greece before, but now it's Greece. Yeah. Like it wasn't named Greece. It's in eighty-seven. <laughs> Later on, in 1389, they took over Kosovo, which ended... Kosovo? Kosovo, wait, wait, wait, wait, wait. It's Europe. In, in Europe. Russia, right? Europe, yeah. Kosovo, it's no, it's Europe. not in Russia, it's a country in Europe. You play Euro nations. Kosovo. Kosovo. Yeah. Wow. Kosovo has been long. Damn. The Siberian power in the region, making way for the Ottomans to expand into Europe. Hey. In an attempt to stop the advance of the Ottoman Turks, there was the Battle of Nicopolis in 1396. The Ottoman warriors were victorious started as the last large-scale crusade of the Middle Ages. It is Sultan Bayezid I who doubled the Ottomans' land between 1389 and 1402, earning his nickname as the Thunderbolt. Unfortunately, he failed to unite the early Ottoman Empire, which was bisected by the once mighty city of Constantinople. He was later defeated and captured in the Battle of Ankara by Timur. This started the war. Wait, they tried to capture Ankara, Ankara as well. they were defeated by mm. Timur. Now, Ankara was more like in the east. Like. The southeast. East. Yeah, east. So who defeated? Like, you know, Istanbul is like. Uh, Constantinople is like here, then. The who is Timur? Who is Timur? I think we've got. The civil war that the Ottoman Empire had. In its 600 years of history, what? Or that the Ottoman Empire, sorry, Ankara by Timur. This started the only civil war that the Ottoman Empire had 
in its 600 years of history as Bayezid's son fought over succession. Bayezid. <coughs> Bayezid. We, we, we, we, we, we. What Whoa. happened was in between the, them. Yeah. Like the Timur is in, also in, mm, in the, what's it called? The Empire of the Roman Empire. Mm. Empire. So that was how like so the, it was like different leaders trying to like capture yeah you know, for power yeah <laughs> what I don't know so who led the first one Timur Timur and uh, yes, I'm sorry and Bayezid and Bayezid. Bayezid yes I think Bayezid is son or something no Bayezid Bayezid and Timur fought Timur as Bayezid's son fought over succession oh. it is Mehmed the first who finally succession. emerged out of the chaos okay. they fought over succession. Mm. Oh, the one to take the war. This was by Timur. It ended by the once mighty city of Constantinople. We just it was later about defeated Bayezid. and captured in the Battle of Ankara by Timur. This, this started the only civil war that the Ottoman Maybe Timur is. In Bayezid's succession, yeah. his son continued the war yeah. over. Sorry, his son continued the war. Mm. It is Mehmed the first who finally emerged out of the chaos and restored the Ottomans' power and brought an end to the civil war referred to as the Ottoman Interinum. Between 1430 and 1450, Mehmed's son, Murad II, was the one to recover the lands that were lost in the Battle of Ankara. He defeated the united armies of the King of Hungary in the final battle of the Crusades. Good. On an attack over his lands in the Second Battle of Kosovo in 1448, the son of Murad II, Mehmed the Conqueror. Yeah, sorry, I think this is like you said. This guy is really important. Fatih Sultan mm -hmm. Mehmed was the one to solve the Constantinople issue by capturing the city with martial finesse mm -hmm. on the 29th of May 1453, when he was only 21 years old. Ooh. Mehmed the Conqueror then renamed the city. What was I doing when I was 21? What am I doing now? Playing game. It, which is now known as Istanbul, the new capital of the Ottoman Empire, and the city became a powerful international center of Wait, trade. Wait, before it was, it was, it was Bursa, mm -hmm. right? Now it's Istanbul now. Mm -hmm. No, the capital. The capital. The capital. Okay, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, I think I need to watch the movie to understand. Mm -hmm. To understand the oh, Exactly, yeah. yeah. Is there a movie? Is there a movie you guys can like suggest to just watch? Yeah. I think there's actually a movie. Ottoman Empire. Yeah. Um I, it was two seasons I guess. Capital of the Ottoman Empire, international center of trade and culture. Sultan Mehmed ruled from 1453 to 1481, and when he died, Bayezid II, his oldest son, became the new Sultan. The rise of the Ottoman Empire. The siege in Constantinople marked the status of the Ottoman Empire as the preeminent power in southeastern Europe and eastern Mediterranean. Orthodox patriarchs acknowledged the Ottoman rule over the Venetian rule, and this was only the beginning of the rise of the Ottoman Empire. It was between the 15th and oh, this, sorry. Sorry. the beginning of the rise of the Ottoman Empire. What else what says about this? Stupid, but I love the outfits. You love the what? The, the outfits. The uh, costume. Oh. The Ottoman Empire. It was between the 15th and 16th centuries that the Ottoman Empire had its greatest conquests and expansions. Sorry, what was this thing that is always the Phoenix, right? I think the name is the Phoenix. I think it's the Phoenix, but I don't know why it's following. It's by 15, under the rule of Sultan Selim the first, the Ottoman Empire conquered Egypt. Arabia and Palestine in a very short period. By these in conquests, we uh, became a Middle East trade giant, or conquered. <laughs> Under the rule of Sultan Selim the First, the Ottoman Empire conquered Egypt, Syria, Arabia, and Palestine in a very short period. Sorry. In a short period, he captured Egypt. I thought Egypt was never captured. Yeah. Or con conquered? Is it conquered or captured? captured? Syria, Arabia. In the first, the Ottoman Empire conquered Egypt, conquered. Syria, yeah, Arabia, conquered. So I think conquered. only they defeated the they Palestine in a very short period. Wait, sorry, was was there anything like the Ottoman Empire in the Bible? No, 
They said the Ottoman uh, uh, existed before the Bible. Before, like, like before they wrote the stories in the Bible, like they existed way before. There is Anatolia mm-hmm. in, in mm-hmm. the Bible. Mm-hmm. There is, of course, Syria. There is Palestine. There is Egypt. There is Egypt. There is Thessaloniki. I think Syria. Like that. Syria. Yeah. yeah. I think Syria. But I've never heard of Ottoman, Ottoman Empire, Empire. Turkey, and even Ottoman Empire conquering Egypt mm-hmm. as well. That's what that's what I was surprised. By these conquests, they became a Middle East trade giant. No one could go east or west without crossing the Ottoman Empire. And the empire flourished via the Wait. major overland trade routes between Europe and Asia. Ha. The Ottoman Navy played a great part in protecting and contesting the important seagoing trade routes as they were in competition with the Italian cities in the Black, Aegean, and Mediterranean seas, and with the Portuguese in the Indian Ocean and the Red Sea. It Sorry, was... I think I sort of know why there's this so much target on countries like Turkey. Well, I, I think it goes deep in history. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. more like fear rather than like hatred. Just hatred. Mm-hmm. Like imagine a, an empire like this coming back together, like a country like Turkey coming together with all the people. I don't know. I think it's more like fear rather than hatred. Not historical fear. Yeah. During the reign of Sultan Sulaiman the Magnificent, who ruled from 1520 to 1566. The Ottoman Empire reached its peak in glory and dominion. He was the successor of Selim I and made a major impact on the history of the empire. Suleiman the Magnificent created an unwavering system of law that made the justice system fair and overall efficient. He also welcomed various forms of arts and literature. On top of that, he went on 13 raiding campaigns in every direction from the uh-uh. empire. He has 13. I thought 13 raiding campaigns in every direction from the honestly. From the, <clears throat> sorry, I thought th- these things like where you know what you see from movies where people um, they just go and raid mm-hmm. and so, it's sure they'll come back. I thought it could only happen in movies or mm-hmm. series and stuff. I didn't know that it's, the, really, yeah, it's really happened, Yanni. Yeah. 13 different raids, so hmm. that's mad. Oh, what's the raid about? Like, this is just raiding for the power just, of the yeah, land. For the, yeah, for the land and money. This empire. He established the Ottomans' rule in present day Hungary and other Central European territories after winning the Battle of Moax in 1526. Hmm. He took Baghdad from the Persians and gained control over Mesopotamia, installing naval presence in the Persian Gulf. The Ottoman Empire counted 15 million people by the end of the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent. 15 million people. Wait, did so just people, people that captured. Four. 15 million people by the end of the Persian by the end of the reign. The Ottoman Empire counted 15 million people by the end of the reign of Suleiman the Magnificent. The fall of the Ottoman Empire. It was from 1600 that the Ottoman Empire started to decline, with its armies scattered across its vast lands due to constant Austrian and Persian military campaigns. These conflicts impacted heavily on the empire's resources and management of its defense on the western and eastern borders. As a result, it was overall impossible to maintain its naval presence for trade competition effectively. In 1912 and 1913, the Ottoman Empire lost almost all its European territories wow. in the Balkan Wars. In Balkan 19... Wars? I have heard that. I had, yeah, I think I'll be able to The Balkan regions, what countries are there? I think Croatia. So oh, God. God. 14. The Ottoman Empire entered World War I on the side of the Central Powers and they were defeated in October 1918. The title of the Sultan was officially eliminated in 1922, and this marked the official end of the once mighty Ottoman Empire. The remaining lands of the empire became the Republic of Turkey under the governments of Mustafa Kemal Ataturk on October 29, 1923.
In conclusion, the Ottoman Empire left an outstanding legacy after ruling for more than 600 years. Okay, sorry, so the Sultan, the title of the Sultan is someone who rules over the Ottoman Empire. So the okay, it's like a name they give the title. Oh, wow. Out in different places. Always be remembered for their fabulous military dominance and innovation, ethnic diversity, religious tolerance, and their still standing architectural marvels. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow, wow. wow. Uh, evet, uh, işte bu Osmanlı İmparatorluğu. Evet, um, 600 yıl. Wow. Vay. Çanda. Neyse arkadaşlar, uh -huh. e, işte bu lütfen abone ol, video paylaş, uh -huh. biz Instagram'da takip edebilirsiniz ve bir daha kısa. Bir daha kısa. Bir daha kısa. Bir daha kısa.